Now, when we talk about risk factors and risk uh, reduction, we talk about primary prevention and we talk about secondary prevention. What you're trying to do is uh, reduce those risks that you've identified in a particular patient. For instance, if someone has a strong family history or they smoke or they have diabetes, you want to focus your efforts on reducing those risks. Now, when we get to secondary prevention, if someone presents with stroke, for example, you want to carefully assess all the other areas of their vascular bed. You want to assess their heart, you want to assess their legs, because uh, it's known that people who have stroke, they don't go on to die of another stroke, they die of a heart attack in actuality. So, uh, what you want to do is uh, stratify them and identify other areas of potential disease. The most important uh, and the ones with the most impact are the ones that involve lifestyle changes. These are the most obvious, but they're the ones that are hardest to implement, such as stopping smoking, losing weight, exercising, controlling diabetes, controlling hypertension. Those have the most impact, but they're the hardest to do because it involves a change in behavior, and that's very difficult. Your goal should be to maintain and preserve vascular health. And vascular health will benefit you in terms of stroke prevention, heart attack prevention, preventing poor circulation in your legs, uh, helping to prevent aneurysms from forming. And this goes again back to the classic uh, risk factors for vascular disease and identifying those which are prevalent in you uh, and, and doing something about that proactively.